All right, how's it going? And welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. Hope you're all having a good day so far because it's about to get even better. We've all heard of TikTok. We've all heard of the dances of TikTok. But here's something I'd like to introduce as the filth of TikTok. And you know, we've spoken about freaks on TikTok in previous videos. We had that one predator who thought he was a gangster. Yeah, and his name... Clap daddy. <laughs> it's as if when he started his TikTok, he thought of the most basic paedophile name ever. But now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a new controversy on hands. And that controversy is surrounding the deaf community. Currently on TikTok, there is a content creator who treats sign language as a very cool, quirky aesthetic. Now, the fine specimen I'm talking about today is indeed Rosalie Ospina. Ospinas. <laughs> a grown woman who is on the spectrum of creativity. Yeah, uh, she thinks she's Harley Quinn. Yeah. Yo, who invited this chick? Now you might be asking, Curtis, why is she receiving hate? What has she done wrong? Well, to sum it up without giving too much away, she basically upset an entire community by making TikToks. She cared about no one else but herself and showed no remorse whatsoever. But when she was called out for her mistakes, the most obvious thing to do would be to apologize. <laughs> she didn't. She made a diss track on deaf people. <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah, she had the audacity to get up in front of the camera claiming she has major anxiety, but then releases an awesome, epic diss track on deaf people. Oh yeah, you showed them. Why would you release a diss track on someone who isn't able to hear the diss track? That, that y you fucking suck. But everyone, she can only be best described as, as a clown. Ironic because that's how she appears in every video. <laughs> now she previously involved herself to making dance videos and also makeup tutorials and uh, Very disturbing ones, which I would never even dare to show my grandma. Oh, did I also mention that uh, she faked her own death? Rosalie now not my nan. Rosalie faked her own death when she was being called out for her controversy bullshit. So as you can tell, ladies and gentlemen, this video is indeed going to be an extremely interesting one. So sit back and relax and watch the fall of Rosalie or Penis. Alright buds, just as we rehearsed, hit me with a high five right off the bat. Yeah! <laughs> oh! Ah, oh, my hand! Ah! Oh. Oh, my hand! So welcome to HQ, ladies and gentlemen, the safest place on earth. No beta Carly Quinns can get you here. Now, this creator currently has 362,000 followers on TikTok. It'll probably drop lower because she sucks. But before the American Sign Language videos, her views were pretty much average until, of course, she found a new audience to cater to. One which will indeed listen to her. Too low. Maybe. But the new audience she decided to cater to was indeed the deaf community. She now dances while sighing to the song she is dancing to. And she has accumulated millions of views of making these videos. Like she was getting like 100k views a, a TikTok before the ASL videos. And when she started uploading American Sign Language videos, she banged like 6 mil, 7 mil, just straight off the bat like that. She blew up. But the most hilarious thing about this, my friends, is in fact people were complaining that her sign language was absolutely dog shit. But of course, knowing the greed, she still continued to ride the wave of fame. She reminds me of one of those people who thinks that bad clout is still clout. It's like me driving a car, knocking someone over in a wheelchair, and then me going on national news and claiming that I am famous. Okay, quick POV. <laughs> okay, Mr. Claxon. <laughs> We're gonna be doing surgery on you today. We're gonna make an incision just above your left nipple. Try not to hit any woes while I'm at it, okay? But I'm just here for a checkup. You sure you're a doctor? <laughs> what? <laughs> no! <laughs> what? How dare you? I'm a professional TikToker. Do you know how many woes I've hit in my lifetime? How fucking dare you, Mr. And that's probably a fantastic analogy. Doing TikToks towards the deaf community, sigh into songs when you don't even know how to sign language. That, that, that's great. As my ex-wife used to say to me, all the gear, but no idea. <laughs> but seriously, ladies and gentlemen, she actually doesn't know that much sign language. And to cater to an audience that you know nothing about is probably on one of the lowest levels so far. So far being so far on this channel. 
not including the paedophile stuff. But a creator who is actually deaf called her out in a very polite way. She responded to her, corrected her in a sign language, and she fucking popped off. Yeah, Rosalie didn't like that. You'll see what she, uh, what happened in a bit. But she made a fantastic video on this. Her name is Cyber Noop. You should check it out. I'm not sure what a TikTok name is. I'll leave it down in the description. But anyway, uh, let's hear what she had to say. But first, ladies and gentlemen, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna, like, you know, you're gonna scram into me for me stopping this video. But I wanna say something to you all. It's very important. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, we've been stuck on 70,000 subscribers for a very long time. I can only ask that if you do enjoy this video, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button and, of course, leave a like and comment for the algorithm because that makes me the happiest man in the world. And I tell you what, okay, if you join the channel memberships, uh, this little pup right here will love you forever, won't you, baby? Uh, but if you join the channel memberships today, uh, you'll be supporting me and, of course, helping me through the month. And uh, this is my full-time job. I don't have any other jobs. And I put a lot of effort in my videos. So if you guys could support me, we would be very happy. Anyway, back into the fucking video, Curtis. Shut the fuck up. I'm deaf and I post about being deaf, basically. So when she first started off signing, it was bad. Uh, it was like really shit, but I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go try to help. So me and some other friendly, nice deaf people, people who knew sign language went to her and we said, hey, let us help you. Uh, let us help you and you can stop until you properly learn how to sign. Do you wanna know what her response was? She blocked us. Uh, yeah, she blocked us. All of us were blocked. All of us. Every single one. But yeah, to block someone who's trying to help you, that's really badass of you. Assert your dominance. Block the people who you are catering to. <laughs> that's a fantastic HR move. Rosalie, 100% no sign language. And then dot dot dot. That's it. <laughs> but of course, we all know by now that she's just making a mockery of their language while gaining huge clout. Now, what did she do in return, do we think? Well, of course, the most courageous thing, she sent her boyfriend after all the people commenting on her video, trying to teach them a lesson. I mean, if you need your boyfriend to fight your battles for you, then why even post content in the first place? You know, he's your manager, apparently. <laughs> That's fucking... I don't know. I, blah, 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 blah. And the worst part about this, ladies and gentlemen, is that she would post these videos, sign into songs that you know, people would actually believe they are learning sign language from watching Rosalie's videos. And she continued to spread this misinformation, teaching people sign language, and it was wrong. People actually believed they were learning something. And to be fair, some of us was. I was learning how to have a stroke, and uh, I successfully done that. But there was actually people who are deaf and who knew sign language duetting Rosalie's videos and correcting her on her awful, terrible attempts. Now the question on everyone's mind is, has she apologized? Uh, no. She's been avoiding this drama just like my dad's been avoiding coming home for the last 20 years. Instead, uh, in the heat of all internet drama, she decides, she decided to curse the hearts of deaf people. <laughs> For real. Now, what did she do exactly? Well, she contacted a witch on TikTok and basically gave them no context whatsoever. She probably just told them that she's being hated on and supposedly to make a skit about them doing a spell. You know, like a really fun video. Yeah, well, this fun video was manipulating a witch from Witch Talk to curse everyone that was hating her. Yeah, that sounds like a great time. <laughs> Let's invite the family over. We can all do it together. <laughs> But they asked her to remove the video and she refused countless times. You are the bigger person, Rosalie. Congratulations. You fucking suck. <laughs> you don't know sign language and the people who actually tried to prevent all this hate from happening, you just took a shit on their chests. But just to summarize quickly, uh, I actually don't think she gives a shit about anyone but herself. Uh, she was 100% doing this for clout and doesn't care who she hurts in the process and definitely doesn't care about her audience. Now is that all you ask? What other ass fuckery could possibly have happened? Well in the shine of light of everyone calling out for her bullshit, she told people that she was apparently in the process of killing herself. You're a fucking genius. What is what? <laughs> now the person she told was indeed the person from Witch Talk, I believe. And she told them this while in the process of them telling her to take down the video. But obviously in an attempt to stop her and genuine human worry, they contacted people who was close to her to check if she was alright. And eventually her manager managed to check on her and claimed that she was absolutely fine and was just sitting in her bedroom. Honestly, these kids, you watch Suicide Squad once and then... Well, and when you think it's over, you suddenly realize, 
Oh, it's far from over. That's what he said. Yeah, yeah. Or she said. Unless, of course, you know, you're into Pagan. Now you're asking, uh, she must have apologized now, for sure. She must have, right? She must have. No. She didn't. <laughs> she released a fucking diss track on the deaf people. And apparently in the diss track, she told deaf people to know their place. <laughs> you fucking walk in a thin line. How privileged and stuck up and self-centered could you possibly be? But to review this diss track, we aren't just gonna be doing it sitting here. No, 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 of course not. This is the Curtis Price channel. I give you the best content. How about we take it, you know, to a special place? Not uh, my bedroom. You know, we're not going up there. That's that's where the magic happens, the private magic stuff. I'm talking about Mr. Exposed. You know what's coming, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo! Slap that tail! And, you know, Mr. Exposed is a place where I can demonstrate the full length of my Hancock. No, that's, uh, that's the bedroom again. That wasn't it, no. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mr. Exposed. Every day I'm shitting and I'm pissing on this hypocrisy. At last, I have returned. But welcome, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Exposed, and this is what I expose these hoes. <laughs> but straight to the point, Rosalie jumping on the offensive, I see. But what might this be? What we are looking at right now, ladies and gentlemen, is a diss track that Rosalie uploaded. She titled this diss track, Watch Your Mouth, with 95,000 views and uploaded two months ago. As we can see, the like and dislike ratio is suffering massively. And in the comments section, people are complaining how she claims to have major anxiety, but yet has the balls to go up in front of the camera and diss the entire deaf community. So let's hear a couple of verses from Rosalie before we jump into her response. Don't say my name. Mm -mm. Still got the bling. Mm -mm. No, don't need no ring. Mm -mm. I would rather shit in the garden for the rest of my life than listen to this diss track one more time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm fucking cool. <laughs> uh, that, uh, yeah, this is uh, absolute. This is bad. This wasn't good, Rosalie. I expected more from you. Mm, deaf people, you need to know your place. Uh, actually, Rosalie, you need to know your place. And your place is not making sign language videos. <laughs> I think, Rosalie, you belong making the clown makeup because uh, that best describes your personality. Oh, you're trying to phase me, saying that you hate me, but really want to date me. DMs on the daily, I know you're jealous. I'm not. <laughs> I am not jealous of you, Rosalie. Uh, I am probably the furthest away you could be from jealous. Jealousy, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't know, uh, basically means you want to be that person. You are jealous of what they have. And what you have, Rosalie, is a lot of hate currently. <laughs> Really not jealous of you. How could I be jealous of someone dancing around in a fucking casino like this man as if they're on fucking pills? <laughs> I'm not jealous. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, enough of this silly little diss track. Let's talk about her response. Her apology, as some people say. <gasps> Definitely wasn't an apology. I'm actually very excited to review this. Uh, and hey, 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 sit down because you're in for a world of fun. Why I had to quit sign language? Looking very depressed in the thumbnail with a dead rose. Very dark. This is the epitome of dark content. Hello. There's a few things to talk about. The sign language situation. Who the fuck is she talking to? Fuck. So now you guys got all these people hurt. And that wasn't me. I was signing because I love it. It makes me feel good. I want more people to learn. <laughs> well, that really is a terrible start. First of all, no accountability whatsoever. Second of all, trying to teach people. Well, Rosalie, I don't know if you've heard, but uh, you can't really be a teacher if you're not educated as a student. The learner has not become the master. <laughs> Done like a 180 story twist. I can't teach bricklaying if my profession is retail. Do you understand? I can't teach a guy how to give a girl an orgasm when I. I. <laughs> you 
can't talk about how she's the victim and how it's gotten out of hand when you were the one who released a diss track on deaf people. You know, I have just have one question, everyone. I want you all to reply in the comment section. How exactly in the fuckery of fucks is Rosalie the victim? Which are lies that I sign for an aesthetic trends, that I'm trying to mock them, that I'm ableist, that I'm ignoring their help. Oh, bullshit, like all lies. Because why are people going to believe me? Why are people going to believe them over you? That's a trick question. <laughs> Is that a trick question? <laughs> you got me. But then, ladies and gentlemen, following that, uh, she then proceeds to show a slideshow of all the people cyberbullying her while playing emotional music in the background. I'm such a victim. I made a distract on deaf people and I'm back in the corner. There's nowhere to go. Someone, please, help me attack the rest of the deaf. Shit. Everyone listen, I made a diss track on deaf people. I don't know sign language and I was spreading false information. Everyone feels sorry for me. You tried to tear me down. That's what you guys did, not help me. You guys tried to tear me down, cancel me, and make me kill myself. Like, let's be real here. And y'all thought it'd be easy because I shared to the world that I suffer with anxiety, which is very true, which you guys all try to invalidate just because I'm confident and I keep pushing through all the hate. And I'm able to keep pushing through because I'm strong and my followers root for me and encourage me and they're all that matter to me and I will never leave them. Jeez, didn't realize this was a self-empowerment video. Just a video of her fooling her own ego and sucking her own dick for 13 minutes. <laughs> yeah, I tried that, but I could never quite, you know, Get down there because you know I'm not, 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 not flexible enough. My girlfriend's gonna hate this video. <laughs> There's no responsibility being taken, there's just constant blaming other people for your mistakes. How do you expect to learn when you are blocking the people that are giving you advice? Huh? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of today's video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, you know to leave a subscribe and of course leave a like and comment for the algorithm and join the membership and follow me on Instagram. <sighs> and now. It's time for a face reveal. You mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you mad, bro? Uh.